Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, we are going to do a little bit of a review, but also kind of a get ready with me because it's been a while since I featured ColourPop on my channel. This is the star of the show, the brand new Stone Cold Fox palette. So if you wanna see how I got this look, everything, this is a full face of ColourPop, ladies and gentlemen, then just keep watching. been a while since we've done a ColourPop video. I know you guys love it when I cover ColourPop and they just released a palette that I was so excited about. The Stone Cold Fox palette. It's one of their newest, biggest palettes. I'm so excited and I'm so excited because you guys were also very intrigued by this palette. I saw that almost 50 of you guys ordered from my link, which that's a lot for me. <laughs> I was really shocked. So first of all, thank you to those of you who did shop through my link. That does help my channel. It does allow me to continue to purchase these products to review for you guys because at this point, this channel is about you guys. The products I review are for you guys. So it was very evident that you guys were also interested in this palette and excited about it. So if you're on the fence about this, hopefully this video is going to help you make your decision. And for my other 50 friends who did purchase this, let's do our makeup Together. So while I will be going over the palette, I will also be doing a full face of ColourPop just because it's been a hot minute. I got a few new things also that I want to try and talk about with you guys. Which by the way, if you're new here, hello, my name is Morgan. I'm a product knowledge enthusiast. I love knowing anything and everything about all of the new makeup on the market and my channel is dedicated to reviewing those items for you so you can decide if they are worth adding to your collection. I will also link the other products that I am using. Like I said, I really just felt like doing a full face of ColourPop. I didn't just want to only feature this palette, though I'm super excited. But I will put a timestamp down below where I do get to this part. So if you want to just see my review on this palette, timestamp down below. But I did want to show you some of the other things that I picked up while I was <laughs> on the website. They were having a fall sale where I believe it was like 20-25% off. So I did take the liberty to purchase some more. So the first thing that I got was a mini duo of the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Setting Mist and the Hyaluronic Hydrating Primer. So this isn't as easy to find on the website. They do have sample sizes now for their Pretty Fresh Foundation. I already have that foundation. I love it. And so when I saw that on that page, you could get many sizes of these. It was perfect because I've been wanting to purchase these, but they always are sold out. So not only were these available, but they were also available for a really good deal. So I'm gonna start off by applying the Hyaluronic Hydrating Primer. Now again, this is from their Pretty Fresh line, which I really like for my skin type. I have a more normal to dry skin type, and I think because it's getting colder out, my skin is definitely leaning more dry. And I really like the way this makes my skin fail. I did apply just a little bit right before I started filming because I, long story short, I had to restart filming. Um, So this really is settling into my skin nice and it's very, very hydrating. So far, so good. I guess we'll just do a full face of Pretty Fresh. So I'm quickly gonna throw on my Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation. I have mine in the shade Medium 85N. So this is by far the best foundation that ColourPop has in my opinion. I just love how lightweight it feels on the skin while still giving a very very natural coverage. Now it's not a light coverage. I would say it leans more medium, but the finish itself is very, very natural, which I love. It's not too dewy, but it's also not too matte either. It's really just the perfect foundation. And it's also very fairly priced. So I went through a phase where I wore this foundation like <laughs> every day so much so that i had to stop but i just love the way that it looks on the skin it's so natural now i'm gonna quickly fill in my brows i'm using the classic color pop brow boss and if you're looking for an affordable eyebrow pencil this one is really really good it's just like a solid affordable gets the job done kind of brow product i really love it final product of the pretty fresh line i'm gonna use the pretty fresh concealer also in 85 and i'm gonna cover my friend up there just a little bit. I like this concealer. It's definitely a solid concealer. I think it's a great pairing with the foundation. 
Again, it gives kind of like a more medium coverage, nothing too full coverage, but also nothing too lightweight that it's going to not do anything. So you can see that still brightened up my under eyes, gave me a little bit of coverage, made everything more even. I really feel like the Pretty Fresh line for me, it changed my thoughts on complexion for ColourPop. And then I'm going in with just a touch of their loose setting powder, and I'm going to use that to lightly set my makeup, mostly my T-zone area. I don't go too heavy with setting, the foundation doesn't really need it in my opinion, but just in the center of the face or the places that you notice do get a little bit more oily quickly. Okay, so now we can finally get into the details of the palette. ColourPop has come out with a lot of palettes recently, but this one definitely caught my eye because I love the big palettes. It's either you love them or you hate them kind of thing. I still love a big palette with lots of options to choose from. And the reason why I love this palette so much, of course, is because it is a cool toned palette. I am so excited that cool tones are trendy once again. I've always loved cool tones. I've always asked for more cool tones and I'm so happy that ColourPop has also jumped on this trend and this palette is gorgeous. I did get a lot of concern from you guys as to whether or not this was a dupe for the Natasha Denona Glam as well as how does it compare to the Bare Necessities. I'm gonna cover that. At the current moment while I'm filming this video, it is currently out of stock. They tend to restock things pretty quickly so keep an eye out for that. I will be sure to update you guys on my community tab so make sure you turn my notification bell on and you will get that or follow me on Instagram. I'll also post it on my stories. But this is $34 which is such a banging deal for 30 shades and I really do enjoy ColourPop's eyeshadow quality so this speaks to me on all different types of levels. Now this isn't their first 30 pan palette. I do also have the Jaded palette and then of course I have the OG Bare Necessities palette and they do have a couple others I believe and I did get concerns as to how close they were. Just to really quickly show you Bare Necessities versus Stone Cold Fox. Of course, you are gonna run into dupes because they are both on the neutral scale, hello. But you can definitely see this is a cool tone palette. This is a more neutral, having more warm tone shades. Now there are some similar rows because you will see the Stone Cold Fox is organized by rows. So we have a more pinky mauve we have a more cool tone taupe, we have a more gray tone, we have a super silver tone, we have a more tan tone, and then we have, I don't even know what this is, slightly berry mauve -y. So you do have some similar rows also to the Bare Necessities, but the Bare Necessities, I would say, goes there more as far as tone. The Stone Cold Fox definitely stays more cool toned, whereas this really gives you a bit more punchier, deeper colors, especially more on the warm tone side. If you have the Bare Necessities, do I think you need the Stone Cold Fox? I don't, there are gonna be some dupes. They will run similar, however, do I think you need the Stone Cold Fox if you love cool tones, but you already have Bare Necessities? Yes, if you're a cool tone lover, this is an awesome palette. Quickly, I know, I'm sorry, I haven't even applied the shadows. How does this compare to the Natasha Denona Glam palette? I know a lot of you purchased the Stone Cold Fox palette because you didn't want to spend the money on the Glam palette, plus you get more colors. So I did do a swatch comparisons where I swatched all of the shades from the Glam palette and then I found similar tones in the Stone Cold Fox. So really quickly, take a look at the different colors here. You know what? This palette really is so much more cool when you look at the whole palette. This one does have a little bit more neutral leaning tones. Now, of course, this is a cool tone palette, but like I said, a lot of these transition shades, and you also have this pop of gold here, those are more neutral and not necessarily cool tone. This isn't a warm palette, but because because the Stone Cold Fox is so cool, it makes this almost look a little bit warm. So I'm gonna show you my swatch comparisons. So as far as the similarities between the Natasha Denona and the ColourPop, the ColourPop is on top, the Natasha Denona is on the bottom. Now this is every shade of the Natasha Denona Glam palette, and these are the closest shades I could find from the ColourPop. Where you're really gonna see the similarities are in the basic brown shades. They're pretty much almost dupe for dupe, but as far as the shimmers, I find them to be very different. You can see I could not find a single match over here towards the bottom row of the Natasha Denona palette. And even here, maybe these two shades are similar. But for the most part, except for the mattes, there really isn't a lot of dupe for dupes, especially the shimmer shades. I find the shimmer shades to be very different. And the shades that are pretty much dupes, you can probably dupe these shades with any other palette as well. They're just good staple shades. So they're not as close as I was expecting, which is really exciting. So to answer your questions, if you really 
really were not interested in spending a ton of money on the glam palette. I do think the Stone Cold Fox is a great compromise because you are getting a cool toned palette. Now, obviously you can get more out of this palette because you do have more different variations of cool tones in different color families, which is also another great perk. And these are a different formulation. You have the classic Natasha Denona formulation and the classic ColourPop formulation. But if you weren't interested in spending the money on this, I think you're gonna get the same vibe with this with a little bit more options. But if you do have the Natasha Denona Glam palette, do you need the Stone Cold Fox? I'm gonna go with you don't need it, but you're also not getting two of the same palette. They definitely are different enough to justify buying both. But my fellow makeup porters, do you really need it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, so let's get on to applying the palette. Now, I will say when I did my swatches, all of these felt really, really nice. It did feel like the typical ColourPop formula. Now, if you aren't familiar with the ColourPop formula, you are gonna get a bit of kickback. And when you dip your fingers into the pan, it does feel a little bit more loosely packed. So when you swatch, you do kind of need to rub it in a couple times to get it to stick to the skin. But that's just swatching, not the eyeballs. All right, so let's um get into it. I'm sorry, I'm only gonna do one look today. I do plan on doing more, don't worry. I am so pumped for this simple, smoky, cool tone dye. Favorite look in the world. I'm starting off with the shade Lux. I'm just gonna use Lux to brighten up and highlight underneath the brow. You don't need to use anything shimmery. A matte white works great. To begin depth, I'm going in with Enigma. Oh yeah, and if you didn't know this about ColourPop, all of their products are made in the USA, which is incredible for their price. That's one of the things I love most about the brand is how affordable they are, but how every product's made in the USA at their own factories. Now we're going in with Cory Days. We're gonna start slowly building up the dimension. Make sure with ColourPop shadows though that you do tap off your brush before you put them on your eyes because you will get a lot of fallout. But once you tap your brush off, you're good. So I'm starting to build up that depth. I'm also gonna take Cory Days and I'm gonna put a little of it underneath my lower lash line. All right, now we're going in with Fickle Fate. I'm gonna go in with the card just in case we get any deep color fallout. Out. And then I'm going to take this shadow and kind of run it along the lash line as well because I want more depth down there. And also take a little bit underneath. Now we're going to take Drama Mama. I love this shade. It is so pigmented. Pull out your card again, but you're going to use this to stamp out your eyeliner. So I'm going to put it a little bit higher to lift my eye and then use it as a smoky liner. Just FYI, this is a great shadow liner shade. It's super pigmented, super dark, so it works great for that. And kind of run your brush over it to make it more smoky. Now that our base is down, it's time for the most exciting part, the shimmers. So the first color that I went in with was Caving In. And I really love this shade because it's super multi-dimensional and glittery. And I'm just using my finger. And I didn't want anything too pigmented. I just wanted a glaze of this color over the majority of the center of the lid. I'm using whatever is left on my finger after I've applied it to the lid to just kind of veil it up. You see how that overall just adds so much attention to the center of the lid. No glitter glue, it looks gorgeous. To waken up the eye, I'm using Dig It. Oh, excuse me, this is called Eye Dig It. And I'm going to apply that to the inner third of my lid, and then I'm gonna really open up my eyes by applying it right to the inner corner, and then really high, basically filling in this gap. Really gonna brighten up the eyes, and if you have hooded eyes, this is a great trick to kind of open up that lid space as well. I'm gonna go in a touch more with the shadow liner and go over where the glitter might have covered it. I mean, so overall, as expected, uh, just by swatching, these shadows applied great. My only real application tip is to tap off your brush because there is quite a lot of kickback with the shimmers for the most part. Apply them with your fingers, the ones that are more glittery based. There are a few more shimmer satiny based. Those can be applied fine with a brush. But for the ones that are really multi-dimensional, please do use your fingers. So to really get that smoky look, I did grab the cream gel liner in the shade Swerve. So this is just a nice black. 
and I'm gonna get the rims of my eye. Before I go ahead in with mascara and lashes, we're gonna bronze up the face. Do you guys remember this? This is from one of the first, I feel like, really cool toned collections that came out with ColourPop, so of course I picked it up. This is the bronzer in Coconut Beach. Just going to get the outsides of my face. And then for blush, good news. I believe this is still the case, but the Sailor Moon blushes are finally available with ease of purchase. You don't have to fight anybody. I picked these up at my own leisure. This is Cat's Eye. I haven't had the chance to use it yet. I'm so excited. But if you followed me for a while, you know I was hounding down for these blushes. They kept selling out. I couldn't get my hands on them. I gave up for a little while, but one day I did see that they did have these eventually, so I did pick these up. I haven't used them yet, Though. So I'm just gonna put this pinky blush on my cheek just to give me a little bit of life Gorgeous as expected, but I mean of course I did definitely just pick this up for the packaging But finally it should still be available for you to get. Ooh, so pretty Ah, yes highlight I'm going in with the classic flexitarian super sharp cheeks now I like to just use a sponge. I feel like I have more control. I feel like it doesn't disturb my foundation this way. Flexitarian is a beaming babe. So I'm gonna go light-handed, but it pairs perfect with this palette. So if you have the Stone Cold Fox palette, use this highlight because cool toned glam dreams. Another new product that I got was also the mini of the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Setting Mist. This is so popular. That's why I got it in a mini because I didn't have a full size. So Oof, oof, I like that. That's a good mist. I mean, it's a mist. I don't really know how much I can do, but whatever I just did, I like it. Okay, I'm gonna quickly do mascara, lashes, and then take care of this bad boy. Okay, so I did mascara and lashes, and I did put a little bit of the shadow liner color along my lower lashing for a little bit more definition and smokiness down below. This is my favorite kind of look, you guys. So we're gonna finish off with lips. I picked up a lip liner in the shade Cool BFF. So BFF, the original, colors one of my favorite lip liners so I needed the cool version of it oh and she's very cool okay they weren't playing <laughs> this is really really cool I'm gonna go in with a little bit of butter lipstick I don't believe they still sell this lipstick so <sighs> whoops and then lip gloss don't hate me again I don't think they sell this but this is Kathleen Light's moon child an og of color pop mm -hmm. all right you guys so here is the final look i hope you guys enjoyed playing around with me playing with some older and newer color pop products to me and of course the big baby i really enjoyed playing with this i can't wait to create more looks overall definitely did not disappoint it's definitely the typical good color pop formula if you aren't familiar with the color pop formula it's definitely very great for the price it rivals high-end products I would say with a really good price and I just love the color story I love the look that I created so if you are looking for a cool tone palette maybe you don't have a lot of cool tones in your collection I do highly recommend this as a way to get a lot of cool tones without having to break the bank or if you're just a cool tone lover like me who owns every single cool tone palette that has ever come out another great one to add to your collection so that's all I have for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you aren't subscribed to my channel already I would absolutely love it if you would consider taking the time to do so and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Have a good one